The DC-10 is a free-engine, wide-body aircraft built by McDonnell Douglas from 1968 to 1988. It was able to carry up to 380 passengers and was known for its two turbofan engines and a third at the base of the aircraft's vertical stabiliser or tail. Commercial Level Simulations, or CLS, originally released their DC-10 collection for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2004. They soon then teamed up with Just Flight to upgrade the package and re-released it as a HD pack in 2015. The upgrade included new models, re-recorded sounds and a completely new virtual cockpit. Installation is as simple as it gets. You are provided with an installer from FS Pilot Shop, which you select what simulator you are using out of FSX or Prepare 3D, accept the license terms, input your key and you are good to go. There is also a 74 page PDF which runs through the entire aircraft in checklist style, which definitely comes as useful. From the outside, the aircraft looks amazing. Each exterior panel is modelled, each control surface is animated, and very minor details such as the plastic cap on the lights are also there. The package also comes with 14 different models that cover each plane type, the DC-1010, 1015, 1030 and 1040 along with their cargo variants and the different landing in configurations and engine types, making this a very solid package. Texture-wise, the aircraft also hits the mark, with high detailed 2048 by 2048 textures all across the body, this allows for each small decal to be clear and easy to read. The textures also add some light wear and tear, showing the age of the aircraft, which I think is also a cool addition. Opening the doors, however, is not as simple as pressing Shift-E followed by a number. There is a panel included which allows the user to control each door and ground surfaces from within it. It's a nice feature, but I'm sure many people would just prefer the standard way of doing things. If you like variation, this is also a very good choice for you. Just in the base package, it contains a mass of 23 different aircraft liveries. Pan Am, United Airlines, Western Airlines, Continental Airlines Dash 10, FedEx, Air France, Alitalia, British Airways, Continental Airlines Dash 30, Ghana International Airlines, KLM, Lufthansa, Northwest, Monarch, Swiss, World Cargo, Gemini Air Cargo, White General Electric, Japan Airlines, White Snow Center Gear, White Pratt & Whitney, Aeroflot Cargo, and White Pratt & Whitney Cargo. Are these not enough for you? Well, for only another $10, you can add another 20 liveries on top of that but I'm certainly not going to name that set, link is in the description. Likewise, if you cannot live with only 43 different textures, Just Flights have also included a texture template, meaning that you can even make your own. The aircraft also includes both a 2D and 3D cockpit, which both of which are highly functional. The 2D cockpit is simple, easy to use, and everything you need to click is easily located. There is also an engineered panel, which is also brilliant in addition to an already amazing package. The 3D cockpit, however, is where this aircraft shines. Throughout it, it uses 2048 by 2048 textures, which really adds to the looks. Each switch is 3D animated, and gauges have depth, which do look great. Just sitting from the pilot's point of view really feels great. The textures also add a few scratches, adding age to the aircraft, showing that it is not a new aircraft and has had a long service life. While sometimes cockpit wear can look bad, just flights have been smart with where they've positioned it, being a very nice extra touch. You know what they say of Microsoft Flight Simulator that you are doing a two-man job without a co-pilot. But all of a sudden, this one became free. The package, however, is an F-Flight, meaning that it is also possible just to turn the aircraft on with Control e and you are ready to go. Everything inside the aircraft works, from all the switches on the main console and overhead panel, to all the little features on the engineer's bay, from the battery, to the external power, and even the data and cockpit voice recorders. The fuel dump also works, which is a nice add-on. The flight management computer, or FMC, however, is a fake. You can still look at the menus and input numbers, but the letters are not available to click, meaning that you'll have to stick with the built-in FSX flight planner.
In terms of sounds, there are also some very high quality recordings with this pack. Everything comes directly from the aircraft itself, from the different stages of the engine spool to each component and switch. Just Flights also make very good use of the sound cones within FSX to create the effect of 3D sound which as a whole works really Finally, when it comes to flight dynamics, this aircraft definitely is an ace. I personally have never flown a DC-10 and I'm sure most of you guys haven't either, but based on online videos and looking back at the detail in this package includes, I'm sure this is as close as you're going to get. As a whole, I am in love with this aircraft. I always liked the DC-10 as a tri-jet and the CLS Just Flight's rendition of it is just second to none with the biggest selling points through the variation and the functionality. At $37.99, this price is what you'd expect from a package like this. 14 high quality models along with 23 liveries is a good set, especially with the high level of detail within the package. If you ever see it on sale however, definitely get it as I'm sure you'll enjoy the flying it no matter what your preferences are. I love this thing and I'll definitely fly it for a very long time to come. Just Flight and CLS have put exceptional effort into creating the best that they could have and at the end of the day it works really really well. Definitely a must have for anybody interested in flying a Trijet aircraft too.